Hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And if you've been following along for a little while, you will know that I am currently in Austin, Texas right now. My family is moving to Austin, so we are splitting time between Austin and Houston as we are getting everything squared away for our move. So, I came on yesterday and shared a little bit, and I'll be talking about this a bit more tomorrow. Uh, I was really discouraged yesterday. We went and hit some Goodwills, and the day before some Goodwills and a Savers, and I was not finding jewelry, and I was getting really like, having to consider a plan B. But today is Saturday, even though it's like 40 something degrees outside, which what, hello Texas. Um, it's cold, but there were some community garage sales, lots of garage sales actually. I was, I mean, I, I, where's my phone? I can't, anyway, there were so many, it was insane. Um, but we didn't end up going to a ton of them because we hit the mother load in a certain area. And um, so yeah, I've got a really cool, great haul to share with you guys this morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. So I'm gonna share that with you guys, but before we get started, a couple of things. Go down there and hit the like button and subscribe if you are not already. And also, I've gotten this comment on a couple of videos I've done since the one where I, I shared how stressed I was. I've been really stressed with the move. I have escaped some of the stress, come to Austin, hung out, feels like, okay, we're moving forward. It's good, it's good. And yes, I know I'm stressed about moving all inventory and clearing things out, but this is jewelry. Jewelry is always different. Um, I will always pick up jewelry. So yeah, there's jewelry and I am picking things up, but I don't have to move this stuff because it's already here. So <laughs> there's those perks. So if you were gonna leave me comments about that, just, you can leave them if you want, but I don't know, whatever. Okay, and guess who I ran into? I ran <laughs> I ran into Chris and his brother at a garage sale. So yeah, I ran into Chris Bonafide Hustler at one of the estate sales and to be silly, I walked up and was like, okay guys, this is my turf now. <laughs> you need to clear out. <laughs> they didn't clear out, but that's cool. <laughs> I mean, the cool thing is too, like I know there's a lot of other resellers up here, but there's so much, there's so many different things to sell that I'm not too worried about it because he had picked up something awesome. He had showed me in the back of it. it. Sounds really weird. He showed me the wood in the back of his truck, but he did a ride along. So he'll show you, he'll show you the wood in the back of his truck later. <laughs> that sounds really bad when you say it that way, but he did. <laughs> okay. I feel really happy. I was so discouraged and things have been so we're so low and so I'm like, okay, today was a really good morning. I'm pretty happy about it. So we went to this community garage sale. We're in North Austin and it was kind of an older, more established neighborhood. And in the billing for the community garage sale, uh, it said there were some estate sales and some moving sales within it. So yes, we were out the door 7.30, 7.45. And the first one we hit I hit the mother load. It was a community garage, I mean, it was an estate sale, and um, they had just started opening up. There was like one lady poking around in the garage, and so I walked up, and the first, and she, you know, the lady said, well, what are you looking for? And I said, well, I'm always looking for jewelry. I always like to start with the jewelry and move out from there. And she was like, oh yeah, we got jewelry inside. Um, just right when you go in, take a left. As soon as she's telling me this, I notice out of the corner of my eye, the other lady that's been poking around the garage makes a beeline for the door. And I was just like, okay, I guess it's on. <laughs> so we went, we went in and James was trying to check out this alarm clock, clock radio. And I was like, James, later, come, come now. <laughs> so we were going, yeah, we went in. We made it there. It was all good. Um, let me say hey in the chat and I'll start sharing some of the treasures that we got. Um, hey, Kelly and Danio, I can't say your name, Hair Geek. Hey, Francis and Bonnie Jo, hello. Kurt, Teresa, Carissa, Julie and Caitlin and Shelly, hello everybody, thanks for coming to hang out. Okay, so I spent $90 at the first estate sale slash garage sale. Um, but the prices were so good. All right, so first up, I got this really awesome jewelry box. And it, I didn't look this one up. I just was like, I like this. Dana is a hair. Okay, okay. 
So it's a jewel case manufactured melee product of Taiwan. I just thought it was really cool. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to continue selling, you know, is jewelry and jewelry boxes. So inside I have some of the jewelry that I picked up. Hey, big mirror. Um, so I can show you the things I picked up there. So I got that jewelry box, five bucks. And then um, we got a number of watches. My son is really getting interested in watches. So some of the watches we got were, they're not really going to make a whole lot of money back for us, but they were pretty good prices. So this is one that he wanted and it's a Mickey Mouse. Happy birthday. It needs a battery, but it was $3. And so it was, yeah, I spent $90. <laughs> Why not? Um, but wait, you'll see. Um, <laughs> so this was uh, three bucks and we looked it up and it was about $35. So once we get it ticking, um, he's going to make a tidy little profit on that for a for a 10 year old. Um, some of the other watches we got, the watches were all like, there were a couple that were $10, but they were mostly three, five bucks, somewhere in there. We got a Minnie Mouse for five bucks. Oh no, that was three. The five bucks must have come off of something else. My kids are in the other room. I heard a bonk. Um, I got this one, which is, I can't read it backwards. I can't read it backwards. Um, there were a few that were okay. There were some that we couldn't find. Dude, I told you to knock. <laughs> I don't really, okay, go baby. Hey, <laughs> now you knock. Okay, close the door, silly. <laughs> oh gosh sorry guys we don't do the kids on the video anymore and so that's okay go that's why I told y'all I told him get your go close the door okay. <laughs> I told him get your Chromebooks and take them in there with you and then uh they were like no no we won't need them we're not gonna play with them I was like cool cool if you do just knock on the door that way I know to cover anyway <laughs> so there was that okay so I forget what I was saying now. <laughs> I'm not an unashamed of my children. I'm just protective of them. That's all. So this was another one of the watches that was a bit older, and we couldn't find out. It said Michael or Michelle. I'll have to look it up closer because it was, of course, I didn't have my loop with me. Um, but this one is one of those winding, you know, watches. It was five bucks. Um, and I've been teaching him, you know, try to look for ones that say 17 jewel rather than quartz. Um, here's another one. This one was a dollar. So we were just kind of picking up different ones. This was one he was surprised. He thought this one, because it said diamond, it's Loris and it says diamond on it. He was like, this one's going to be worth money, mom. And this was 10 bucks. I was like, okay, if you want to take a chance on it, we'll take a chance on it. We looked it up and it's not worth a lot, but you know, it's a learning process for him. This is one that I really like. This is a Timex. It's a 17 jewel, it's a winding watch, and it was five bucks too. Um, I'm still learning, so it's kind of good that he got interested in, in it um, because it kind of pushes me to learn more about watches as well because it's something I've been meaning to learn more about. And now I've got a little fella that's really interested in learning more. So we got this one as well. This one is an uh, Armatron, Armatron, and that was five bucks. Donna says, the more jewels in the watch, the better. Yeah, and I, we're learning like, okay, the quartz ones, you know, or maybe, you know, if they're made in Switzerland, if they are. So, I mean, right now, I know that's really basic. I know there's way more to it. But, um, you know, and then certain brands. We're, we're slowly learning together. But he's really, really interested. <clears throat> we were at an antique store or junk store in Georgetown yesterday. And he had the guy had a bunch of watches for five, three bucks, five bucks. And so, I don't know, <laughs> he was looking at all of those too. So there's another Armatron. Uh, Michelle is a nice, or a nice brand. That was five bucks. So, I mean, even if they don't end up being like worth a ton of money, they're still really nice looking watches. They're in really nice shape. They're really pretty. So we'll see. Did I show you this one? I think I may have. This is another one that I really liked. This one said Jules Jurgensen. I can't read it. So I'm not telling you a whole lot about them because I don't know a whole lot about them. Um, jewels in the watch are basically bushing used to cushion the wheels to move. Okay, that's good to know. 
Because <laughs> he was asking me, I was like, I know the quartz ones, they don't have the fancy jewels. And um, I just didn't know exactly what to, something we'll learn, right? Homeschool time. And then there's this Loris watch that I got that I thought was pretty. So I didn't look this one up either. That was 10. So some of the watches really made the prices go, isn't it pretty that, yeah. So the reason I was really okay with spending $10 on a couple of these watches is that there were other things that were priced like this. And in this bag was this sterling silver. It's a little sterling silver like little bells on a sterling silver chain. And there is a mark inside on that little plaque. You can see set in there. Um, but I don't know what it says because I couldn't zoom it in on my phone enough. So I'll look maybe when I get home or I'll bring my loop back up next time I come because I'm leaving this stuff here. So I'll have to bring my loop back. Hey, Carla. Hi, guys in the chat. Yeah. Okay, so... The jewels are usually made out of rubies because it's hard and does not wear. Oh, thanks, Donna. Yeah, sapphire, then sapphire. Oh, awesome. Because one of the ones, one of the, what really got him into it was there was a, a watch we had the face of, and it was a porcelain face, and it had the workings on the back. And I was explaining to him, because it was one we got in, like, a jewelry jar. It was, like, just busted up. But I was like, take a look, James. This is, like, a porcelain face, and, and see these jewels, because it had the jewels in it. Um... And I was telling them, those are like probably rubies in, in there because they were a little red. Yeah. So that really got him like, what? If I pop them out, can I sell them? Will they be like, no, I don't think it works that way. But he was super interested. Okay. So then also a lot of the other stuff, it was like, oh, just take this whole box, you know, three bucks to, you know, here, take this. So there's these funky cuff links. It looks like somebody just glued little marbles on them, but they were, they were inexpensive. Um, there's this, I love watch, I mean, bracelets like this. I love bracelets that are hinged, um, that, you know, have a safe, either a safety chain or like a safety little latch right there. Personally, I love them. So this was $4. It's not really gold, but I just really liked it. So there's that. No, you can't pop them out to sell them. I know. I knew that. And I was like, I don't, I don't think that's how it works, James. Okay. So some of these things I can't really, I don't know exactly the price because it was like, this whole box is $3. But I'm pulling out the better stuff. So this is like a sterling silver like coin charm. And one side has got this Aztec, Aztec Mayan calendar. One of them, I can't keep, I don't know which is which or if they're the same. I'm guessing Mayan because the pyramids are on the back. So there's that. Hi, hi. And then there's another charm. This one is not silver, but I thought it was cool. It's Oahu, you know, one of the Hawaiian islands. And there's like a pineapple on the back. And then a the little dangle on it says Hawaii. So it's probably just like a little charm that you would have gotten a souvenir charm to put on your travel charm bracelet. But I hadn't seen a little Hawaii, Oahu, not just Hawaii, but it is Oahu uh, charm. So that's cool. Oh, thanks, you guys, for coming to hang out. Um, you collect nothing but wind-ups, Donna says. Me and you're the girl to go to <laughs> if I have questions for sure. Okay, I've, and I appreciate it because I'm sure we'll have we'll have questions. All right, so then there's this little butterfly pin. Again, I love figural stuff. And then, okay, oh, where's the rest of this? Because I'll put him with the – because there were some political buttons too that I got. Mm, fun. So I'm going to put him with the other political stuff. So then there was this. This I just picked right up. It's a little, it looks like a little coat rack. It was a buck, but she had all of these chains hanging on it. So when I walked over there, you know, I told you the other lady had already beelined it over there. So she was like starting to grab. And so I was like, okay, you know, I saw all the chains hanging on this. So I just picked it up and held it. And I was like, well, I'll look at it later. Um, but it had all the chains on it were sterling silver. Yay. <laughs> so this one was $2. Is that backwards? It's like that two dollars so it's a really pretty sterling silver chain and it's got one of these little puffy hearts on it and so randy was asking me um if i would clean this one i said this is probably one that i would lightly clean because it's so usually i leave the tarnish but this one is super uber uber duper tarnished so i probably clean off a little bit of it so that was two bucks and again like they were all hanging on this you know 
all of these sterling silver necklaces were hanging on there. So I was just like, oh, okay. Hey, hey, stay away from Japanese quartz. They're not worth fixing. The parts take too long. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good to know. And I think, too, he just, like, on ones that are not worth anything, I think he's wanting to just pick them apart and look at, the, look at all the gears and wheels and stuff. Okay, so next little sterling silver chain that we've got was also two bucks. Um, and probably the ones that are like this, I've got a lot of pendants that I'll find that don't have a necklace, so I try to find when I can necklaces that I can put with them. So they were all two bucks. So here's another one, another sterling silver chain that was $2 on that little hat stand that was cute. And then another one. This one, again, also super tarnished, super duper tarnished, um, sterling silver chain. So that was that. Then, what are, this was a box of extras, which we'll see, because they had like the box, the little boxes were like this box is $3, this box is whatever. So these are just little extra doodads, like a little snowman scene. I don't know if these are worth any money. I didn't, they're like little, they're desert storm pin, oh, there goes one of my uh, pins, you know. I have sold an American flag pin before, so I will still list that. And then these are just um, like a buckle and some buttons that might, may have gone together. They were all, you know, they're vintage. So I don't know. They were just kind of in there. They were just in there with the other stuff. Okay, so let's dig into this little box, and then I'll get into almost the rest. Almost the rest. Yeah, he can play with them and learn. He's yeah, and he is. He took some of the ones that I really was like, these are junk, you know. And he's like, well, I want to see if I can sell them in the garage sale for three bucks. I'm like, good luck, but okay. <laughs> and he did. He showed me. I was happy. Okay, so this was a dollar, and it's this little. Oh, I think maybe backwards. Hang on. It's got these two little stars on it. Super duper cute. Um, whether or not this is the original. So it's a sterling silver or 12 karat gold filled. So, and or. So, anyway, there's that, which I think is super cute for a buck. Little stars. Yep. I uh, got these little cameo earrings, and they're not really real cameos, quote unquote. They're just little resin cameos, but I thought we did such. We had so much fun <laughs> learning about cameos. Hang on, I'm trying to get it back on the card here. I just realized it's got a plastic back even. <laughs> That's okay. Um, oh my gosh, did you guys see? And I have some other pictures to share. We were in Georgetown yesterday and went to this antique store. It's my new, it's my new favorite place to buy jewelry for myself um, because they had like all of these cameos, like real ones, really fancy shell ones um, that were... I mean, they were in the hundreds of dollars. They were beautiful. But I took a picture of one and, or, or of one of the display cases, but there were so many others. My head was like, one. Um, anyway, and I did buy myself a piece of jewelry. And I told, because I was telling Randy, you know, I've, I was wanting to do something nice for myself because I just don't a lot. And so I was like, I'm going to look for something. I'm, I want to go find a piece of jewelry for me, you know. Um, and so I was expecting to spend some money and I ended up finding something that was pretty reasonable and I really liked, so I'll share it later. Um, not here in this video, because I have it somewhere else, but yeah, I know. I loved the jewelry there. It was all antique, vintage, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> next up, we have this little cloisonne swan. It's a keychain. Again, there were just some things together. This is super cool. Watch, it's also a keychain, but look at it. It is Kennedy Space Center. At first I thought, you know, because I live in Houston, so when I saw the NASA stuff, I was like, okay, it's because I live near the Johnson Space Center. Um, but this, then I noticed, oh, it's Kennedy Space Center, and I and this is most likely vintage just from the, see how it's kind of all yellowed? Probably originally it would have been white. Um, you can't wait to see my first, well, I guess I could probably get it in a minute and show you. It was, I don't normally buy myself expensive jewelry. I mean, it wasn't crazy expensive, but for me it was expensive. Okay, next, political stuff or earrings? I'll show you earrings. So earrings, there's lots of little studs in here. Um, and the reason I was like, oh, yeah. So at first I saw some of the little pearls, 
some of the little pearl earrings had gold posts so i need to check those out of course i don't have my stuff with me but then there were some gold ball earrings that randy was able to make out the there's you know there's little scratchings on the side of it right there. um so i he took a picture and we could see there was a k but we couldn't see what i'm guessing probably 14k so little 14k studs what do you think should i keep them um, so cutesy pootsy little 14k studs. Then there were some other ones that are not really 14k. Here's how I know. So there's the ball, it's gold, and there's the post, and it's not. So um I just learned to care for shell cameos. You should you should oh I read that too when I was researching. Give it a bath in olive oil once a year. Yeah. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. okay. So there's all those cute little um, earrings. So again, this is still within the stuff I got for 90 bucks. Then I got three political things. The funny thing about this one is, okay, so look at the donkey. I have an elephant with these same glasses or glasses very similar to this at home. That was my grandmother's um, from, I think, Eisenhower. So there's this guy and he's got little jewel eyes, I think. What it looks like, yeah, little stones in there. Super cute political one um i don't see any maker's mark on it but then okay i'm gonna give you a a quiz anybody know who it is this is a political button y'all anybody we know what h2o is do you know your chemical symbols for au you put it together you put the au with the h2o you gotta Gold water. Okay, so this is uh, Barry Goldwater political buttons. So I saw some of these uh, up. I didn't see this one. I saw one that looked like this that was really me more messed up than this one that sold for $12.99 for this particular button and it looked really bad. Um, and then so this one, I did not see another one, but it's a Goldwater button so we'll find out what that one can go for too at first and it didn't click at first what it was i was like oh look those are like symbol you know like the chemical chemical yeah my brain just like what um that's pretty cool i've never seen anything like that and then i saw this so i was like oh okay 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 um would i ever do an austin meetup yeah oh i probably most certainly will <laughs> i enjoy doing them in um Houston, I've done quite a few in Houston, so, and I know I'm gonna be at, I'm in the green room too, so I'll be at um, Chris's green room stuff. I talked to I talked to him about that today. We didn't just look at his wood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, oh, thanks Sharp Seller for that super chat. I really appreciate it. It does, it does wonders for the family. It, you know, yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it, thank you. Okay, and it does, it helps, uh, it helps. Okay, oh, I already showed you that box. So I did that one. Um, so also, this is still from the $90. Look at this, you guys. Okay, this is from the $90 one. This is a San Francisco cable car jewelry box. Look. Now, I don't know what the song is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wind it up a little bit because it doesn't stop. Like when you close the top, it doesn't stop. Maybe it does. It didn't stop before. Anybody know what that is? I feel like I should know. Somebody in the group will know. I'll put it in there. If you know, let me know. So this was put out by Dokken. Not rockin' with Dokken, but Dokken. Um, and that if it's probably the same document that makes like the toys and the plushies and stuff like that is my guess. Um, so made in Japan, product of Japan. So super cool. I saw some, I mean, I saw some up that were anywhere from between 20 to 50 bucks, but I didn't see any on Etsy. So woohoo, Etsy, here you come. Um, yeah, isn't that awesome? So uh, yeah, the, there were a couple other jewelry boxes there, but I was like, okay, I'm really wanting to focus more on getting the jewelry. I left my heart in San Francisco. That would make sense, right? Thanks, Bonnie. Maybe I didn't wind it up fast enough. 
I left my heart in San Francisco. Okay, next. So that was all from, oh no, I didn't, there's a, a clock radio we also got, which is in the car. It was five bucks, because my son, again, electronical stuff, he's like, well, I wanna see how this thing works. Clock radios, what? You know, <laughs> so it's one of those old clock radios. We paid five bucks for it. He's gonna open it up and see if he can make it work. And um, I saw some sold, maybe 15, 20 bucks, not a whole lot, but hey, if he wants to poke around and try to fix it, I also got that was a dollar. So you guys know I love to sell these. So this was a buck and we'll probably go up around $25 when I list it. So the things, you know, I'm clearing out my inventory at home, really paring things down um, for the move, but I will continue to sell these. For sure. Yeah, I left my heart in San Francisco. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's right. Okay, next next garage sale. I went to one. This lady had like these two giant suitcases. Well, like carry-on style suitcases full of bags like this of like jewelry supplies. And I was trying to get her to come down. She was willing to sell them. I was like, can I just get them all and like pick through it at home? Is that cool? Um, but she was like 100 per, which I know was well, well worth it, but I didn't have 200 bucks with me for that. So I was picking through bits and she was trying to convince me. She's like, okay, 75 for each one, and, you know, 75 each. I'm like, I don't know, because this would take me forever. Uh, yeah, I do sell international. So I just picked out some stuff. And even then, I still spent like 25 bucks. And she was like, look, you're spending 25 bucks. If you just spend 75, you can get all of this one thing. I'm like, I don't have 75 bucks to give you, lady. Okay, I want it, but I can't spend that much. Okay, so I got this really cute lapis earth charm. I'm gonna have to look at it closer to see if it really is lapis because that makes me like question it right there. Um, so I'll poke at, you know, look at it a little bit closer at home. So when is the I don't know what the final day is on our move because we're kind of like, we're just loosey gooseying it. It sounds weird, but like we're just back and forth. We're in, you know, in Houston and then we're here. And then, I mean, luckily we have that luxury where we can just kind of like slowly move, start. I think within the next month, we're going to really start buckling down and looking for a house. But Randy's like, let's just get a two bedroom apartment and like apartment life for a while and not have to deal with the yard and all of that. And like, Oh, I don't know. So, um, what did you do to learn all of these stones? I, well, some of them I knew about, some of them I teach myself before I start sharing, or I'll know a little bit like lapis. I grew up, my mom loves lapis, lapis and amber, are my mom's too. So those are two that I grew up knowing about or learning about kind of here, here and there. And then some of them you just learn from researching when you're, when you find cool stuff. So these ones, I don't know exactly what they are. Speaking of, they may just be like little green glass ones. If you know, I just loved the color. And so a lot of her stuff was like jewelry making things. So I loved the color on those. And then I bought ah, beautiful colors of a rainbow. Okay, so these ones, again, she had them labeled as lapis for four bucks. So again, that's a big question mark because lapis is so so four bucks for lapis chips. Um, I'm not. I'm not totally convinced. But um, there's that. Then I got these ones. These ones are marked carnelian, right there. Three bucks again. And then these ones they weren't marked what they were. They kind of look like citrine, you know, or they could have been like an amber. But once I put my hands on them, I knew they weren't amber because they're not. But there's even some green in there. So if you know, I'd love your help on those because that was about 25 for those ones. And then these ones she called fossil. I'm like, fossil what? So I'm gonna have to like figure out what these things are, some of them. But anyway, I just really liked all the colors of the stuff on those. And then, so this is all, um, I spent 25 bucks with her. So there's this really cool like copper apple pendant, which I really liked. There's that, and that was three bucks. Um, you're just in the learning stage too. 
This one is an agate, four dollars for this pendant, which is really pretty, like so. And then I got that just because I thought it was kind of cool. Eh, it's okay now. And then some little earrings that I liked. I liked those. And that was it from her. Okay. Let's go to the next garage sale. I've got three more garage sales. So this lady, oh, that goes with a different one. That goes over here. Okay. So this, let me make sure, all of this was five bucks. So I was so relieved, you guys, because I wasn't finding any jewelry at the Goodwills here. They didn't even have jewelry counter. <laughs> so it was like not an option. It wasn't just they were out that day. They didn't even have a jewelry counter. <laughs> okay, so we got this. It's like a hair clippy, but I just liked it. It was huge and blingy. Hello, everybody. Um, oh, wow. Nice, nice. Okay, so um, also in here were some just little rings. You know, this ring was really cute. There's no markings or anything. I just liked it. And then some of these other rings. This one has kind of like almost an opal-y look. I know it's not opal. It's a adjustable ring and I have learned, oh, it's a, it looks adjustable, oh yeah, it is, okay. I have sold adjustable rings, so sometimes people don't care. If they see that they like this part of the ring, they don't mind that this part is an adjustable style ring. Um, and then this ring is an Avon ring, which is also something I've learned not to discount because um, some Avon rings can go for really good money. And I've also learned, I haven't found any personally, but I've learned from viewers that Avon did make some silver and gold stuff. And then, what else? So all of this was five bucks. Another one, this really pretty gemstone, like semi-precious looking gemstone ring, and it has a sizer inside. Then this, speaking of cameos, it's like Cameo City lately. This little bracelet that's got cute little stones and little faux cameos in it. It is missing one stone there, but I don't think, I think, I mean, I would still probably try to list it. I still think it would do okay. I like it. Still do. Okay, cool. Your name on rep. Yes. So there's that. Oh, is it missing another stone? Maybe another stone there. But that, I think, I think it's still cool enough that it would still sell. Then there's this brooch. Really cute brooch there. Like so. And <laughs> this was just in there. So this was just like a little plasticky ring. I, my boys like to play pirate treasure, so it may go in their pirate hoard. And then here, this is what drew me into her jewelry. Look at that. This brooch is really pretty. Again, I couldn't find a maker's mark on it, but I didn't have my loop. So that's the backing. That's the fronting. Really cute. We are talking about my whole... Earlier, we were talking about. <laughs> I'm going to keep making this joke. <laughs> Chris is going to get me. <laughs> Chris was showing me his wood in the back of his truck. <laughs> anyway, um, so there's that. These are some clip on earrings, like so. Again, no maker's mark on them. Um, Kaylee is saying uh, you could easily sell that brooch for at least 30 bucks. Oh, cool. This one, isn't it nice? Cute. Um, some little hoopies. They're not really sterling silver. I don't have my magnet, but I, just the coloring. Like if you see the the color on this this part. Sorry, my nails need attending. And then this bracelet was in there, which is really cute. Randy wants me to keep it, but I don't know if I'd ever wear it. Isn't it pretty? It's not making. I mean, it's not making. It's not making any stones. It's not missing any stones. So there it is. That. But it is very colorful and pretty. So maybe it's one of those that I keep for a while to wear and then I sell it. You know what I've been enjoying about Austin? There's other geeks here. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. I know there's some in Houston. Okay, so that was my $5 for that one. But there are other geeks here. And I met some that are having a garage sale today. And I was so, I was like, I found my people. I was so excited. <laughs> so... I went to another garage sale. Let's see, we've got two more to go. So in the next garage sale I went to were my new geek friends. And I spent 
15 bucks? Yeah, 15 bucks, 15 or 16. Hot, because we got hot chocolate. They had hot chocolate <laughs> at the garage sale. Are there jewelry jars in Austin? I haven't found any yet. Someone told me that that Savers has them sometimes. So as long as I can find garage sales like this, I'll be okay. But I, I do like a good, a good jewelry jar, the mystery, right? Okay, so all of, let me start with the bag. So the bag she sold me for $10, but this is mine. I'm keeping it. Look at this. This bag is Le Sport Sac. And this is, it was like brand new clean. So this was 10 bucks. I couldn't find this one exactly on their site. I found their Weekender bag, but I couldn't find one that had the, the metal loops like this. Um, but the Weekender bag that was similar to this, but a bit bigger was 114 bucks. But I was like, man, I love this bag. So this will be my, this will be my bag. So there's that. Um, and then everything else, so that was 10 bucks. Everything else was five, we'll say, because the dollar, the other dollar was for um, hot chocolate. How can I tell if a brooch is a real Betsy Johnson that I bought from eBay, but it's coming from China? That would be questionable, I would think. I don't know. Um, hey. Okay, so the five bucks, almost done. <laughs> Uh, included this game, which I've seen, it's on Amazon for about 15 bucks. So this was, you know, probably less than a buck. But we may keep it and play because we like to play games a lot, board games and things. So there's that. I don't know anything about this game. Code, code, Codinka. Codinka? What? <laughs> you want to say hey, Randy? Hey, Randy. Oh. Hey, Randy. There's Randy. Hey, hey Randy. Randy. Randy's back. Is it Texas Girl Trash? Oh my gosh. Okay, so then also he had a lot of other just like doodads that I got because I'm geeky, I guess. So there's a Wheel of Fortune button. Wheel of Fortune, I don't know. Um, this is a Simpsons wallet, and the brand is called Mighty Wallet. And I saw some, I think for 20 bucks, being sold. So some of this stuff, and I did ask him, I was like, some of this stuff looks like Loot Crate stuff because we do Loot Crate. And he's like, yeah, I did Loot Crate for a while. So there's that. Um, he had this Captain America air freshener. I saw, there were some up on eBay. So I saw some one that was sold for about five bucks. Yeah, whatever. Um, this Tetris sticker set. I, yeah, this wasn't selling really well, but it was fun. So it might just be something we keep and play with. And then this is fun. So this is a comic notebook. And when you flip it, you can see that the pages are like broken into cells and it has a little um, stencil for the bubbles, you know, speech bubbles or whatever. And I saw some of these that had sold five, seven bucks. Anyway, I don't know if they'd be worth listing, but anyways, just fun, fun stuff. Um, then, you know, Pinkie Pie. That was in there. Um, so, my, so my mother was just like, just take it. Mustache is for the kid. Um, but then there were some of these. This was all still within that five bucks. So Batman comic and a Star Wars. My guys might keep those. And then this one um, was also one that was within that five bucks. But there are solds of this one that were nineteen around 19, 20 bucks. So this one will probably go up. Avengers, Venom, and Scarlet Witch. Anyway, so those will go up. At first I thought I'd give it to the kids. And I was like, eh, 20 bucks. And then this ring, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready for this? It's got Edward Cullen in it. <laughs> All right, okay. So that was, that was that garage sale and the hot chocolate. So the bag we're keeping them. And then finally, the last garage sale, I spent a dollar and I got all this stuff. So this is stone or glass. I don't know if you can hear it. Trying to find something to clink it on. There. Um, so I've got to figure out, I mean, it's banded. Um, I have to figure out if I think it's stone or if I think it's a glass or if a friend can help, phone a friend. I mean, I see the bands in it. So may, let, that, it being banded, kind of lends me to think it was a stone, but I don't know. So there's that. And then 
Um, the reason I got, well, some of these things in here are cool, and then I'll share the other thing, the other thing. So here's some earrings that I that she had. Aren't they fun? I don't think I'd wear them, but they're fun. They're little revolvers. You think I'd wear them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, I looked up the comics. The the but these two, they were only like five bucks. They were sold on there for like five bucks, five bucks, and then the other was like twenty bucks. Um, so those ones are really awesome, cool looking. That I'll sell. Banded agate. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. And then those earrings I would never wear that I need though. <laughs> um, okay, and then a friend shared, I don't know if you've been watching the Bolo videos, but oh gosh, who was it that shared? I can't remember who shared it. Who shared that they sold a lot of, I'm trying to grab one out of here, of these barrettes, like these vintage style barrettes for 20 bucks. There was like 50 of them or something, 35, 50, somewhere in there of these vintage barrettes from like when we were little girls. Um, and and sold a whole big bunch of them for like 20 something bucks. So when I saw these in this jar for 50 cents, I was like, yes, this is my new barrette jar. So now when I find them out, I'm just gonna start throwing them in the jar until I get a jar full. And then my jar is gonna turn into a, a lot of 20 bucks, you know? Yeah, aren't they fun? So those little vintage barrettes like that, can can add up. So thanks for bolos. <laughs> if you are if you're in International League of Thrifters, or even if you're not, go join and leave a bolo because the bolo videos are so fun. Everybody's getting to share something cool. Have any one of them? The earrings. His ears aren't pierced. <laughs> um, and then also jewelry lovers and sellers. We do the bolos. I need to do another bolo video. It's been a little bit. I think that's it. Hey, Ran, over there, there's that bag that, you know, it has the the jewelry that I got with the, the other, the jewelry. It's like a gift bag size, little bag. Can you grab that? I'll show them. It's like a Kendra Scott bag, and then there's like the black bag inside it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. There was some other stuff that I got from like a, Thrift store? So I don't know the other day, but I'll show you what I bought. This is what I bought for me. I'll share it with you. What I am, I'm gonna. So this is what I got for me at the antique store. Okay. I, I bought myself a present. Hang on, I gotta fix it. Presentation is everything, right? Okay, so this is what I got for myself, sort of as a I don't know. I, I needed to treat myself, right, Randy? I needed to treat myself. What? <laughs> it was a congratulations. Just because I've been doing well, I think, on the channel. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so this is what I got myself. Look, it's a necklace. Isn't it gorgeous? So this is like Art Deco style. That is what I bought for myself from the antique store. And it was not as expensive as you might think. So there's that. Yay! It was less than I was intending on spending for myself. So that's it. Yeah, you gotta buy something for yourself every now and then. Normally, I, everything I find, like these, I get compliments on these earrings. Like I got these at Goodwill for two dollars and ninety nine cents. So most of the stuff I get for myself is from thrifting or garage sales. So I was like, I saw this and I was like, ooh, okay, I'm going for it. I'm buying this necklace for myself. Randy just bought a truck. Okay, this necklace is like a drop in the bucket. It is. <laughs> Compared to the truck. Okay, so that is it, you guys. I'm so excited to be in Austin. And, you know, again, we'll, we're back and forth, Houston, Austin. So we'll, we'll be back. This I was really happy with the garage sailing. So if, if it continues like this, I'm okay. No more freaking out about the Goodwills here. <laughs> okay, we're good. Now I get to drive home. Fun? Back to Houston. All right. Um, no, but this evening, the guys and I, if we're not too tired, we have a munch pack at home. Um, and the munch pack is from last month, so we've got to get it done. So 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, my my store, my name is the same everywhere. I'm Texas Gal Treasures on eBay, on Etsy, on everywhere. Texas Gal Treasures. My shops are on vacation mode right now because we're packing and moving and whatever. But I definitely, I mean, if you see stuff, I sell stuff to viewers if they see them in the video. So if you see something you want, then we can work it out and I just send you a PayPal invoice. So we're all good. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out. Go down there and hit that thumbs up. Let's see, we got, thir is that right? 37 thumbs up? Y'all, come on now. Um, okay, <laughs> Jermaine's got two thumbs up. Thanks, hon. All right, well we are, we're gonna pack it up and hit the road and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming to hang out everybody and be on the lookout for the Bonafide Hustler because he, I would tell him, didn't he? Didn't yeah. he showed me his wood in the back of his truck? He, did. he showed me his big wood in the back of the truck. Yeah. So be on the lookout for his ride along because he'll show it to you too. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>